hey guys welcome back to the new video and in this video i will show you the way by which you can find the distinct or the unique values so unique values is uh, is kind of a regular requirement that we need to figure it out in many scenarios like uh, uh, for example, if you are working in a sales dashboard, then how many unique sales that you have done or uh, if you are working in an orders dashboard or a product dashboard, you always need to figure it out, unique product names, unique product lines that you have. So let's see how you can do that within Quick Sales. First of all, let's go into edit mode and before going into edit mode, uh, let me show you order priority. So there is five order priority as you can see and we will we will look at uh, the unique and the non-unique order priorities. So for that I will just take uh, two KPIs um, just to show the difference and while adding a measure I'll open up this screen and first of all I will take the overall order priority. So order priority and uh, click apply so 8399 that basically indicates the number of rows that you have for order priority and uh, after that let's add a measure open up this entire screen and we will add count of distinct order priority and there is five and if we go in the front end there is five order priority so as you can see this is uh, pretty easy that uh, you just apply the distinct keyword and you will get the unique values now just the one word of question use it only when you really need it because this is very heavy function uh, in terms of computation and takes a lot of uh, resources when you perform it if you are using a lot of distinct related formulas then it may happen that the performance of the dashboard is going down so use it only when it is absolutely needed and uh, there are a couple of other different ways in which we can find the distinct values within click sense probably in my future videos i will talk about it which is not that resource intensive and give you uh, the distinct values without having uh, to depend on a lot of computational resources but for now this is the keyword for finding the unique values pretty straightforward and that's pretty much it i wanted to talk in this video